Hello, everybody. This is another or Washington rant. Today, I was I was uh, asked by you know uh, various people to uh, talk about the issue with with uh, women, uh, women who um who wore either uh, wigs, tracks, extensions, um, weave, and you know the like. And and people wanted to uh, ask my honest opinion about how I feel about that and stuff. How I feel about women that are doing that. Well. Um, but before you know, I really get into my my personal opinion about that stuff. Let me just give you a little bit of history of um, where that's come from and everything that you know I'm about to get ready to say. You know, you're more than welcome to, to, to research this information for yourself to find to find out for yourself. But everything that I'm say is going to be 100% the truth and stuff. But it does you just need to seek it out on your own. You know, like I did. But now, first of all. Um, uh, you, you need to understand first of all that um, uh, the women that that wears the the wigs and the weave and all that stuff there uh, they derive from a cultural point of view. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the cultural the cultural point of view that that I'm gonna start off with is the uh, European cultural point of view, which is you know up in you know in Europe and stuff like that. You know in and on uh, Europe and other countries you know surrounding you know like Rome, Italy, and all this stuff there and stuff. Um, they, they they had like a uh, long long story short they had a particular belief system uh, where they like to uh, call what is known as modification, but where they um where the citizens on uh, the men and the women they they um modify themselves to uh, make them look more um elite than than the uh, public view and stuff you know what I'm saying an example of this is that uh, you can uh, look at um, in Europe right now and in the other countries right now uh, right now you know they they have one that's known as the one uh, the Queen of England and and uh, Prince and you know, the Prince and all that stuff there and you notice how how their culture are you know what I'm saying they um they were elegant jewelry uh, they were you know different things that's real um real modest to make themselves more dignified and stuff you know what I'm saying they further, further off, you know what I'm saying, uh, it, it, it actually, this particular thing, uh, when I'm talking about the, the elegance and stuff like the elite and stuff like that, uh, it actually come, go back further than that, you know what I'm saying, when you do your research and stuff, uh, back into, a, um, you know, back into the, the ancient uh, Egyptian Kemet times as well, and stuff where, it, where they would as well, you know what I'm saying, modify or to enhance themselves to look more prestigious or elite to separate themselves, separate their, their raw dignity or position, you know what I'm saying, from the rest of the people. You know what I'm saying? So they could some they do it, you know, so they could show a, a form of uh, superiority superiority or you know even anarchy with the people and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Now within this um uh, now Throughout the generations and stuff, right, uh, which I'm going all the way back into this century, is that these type of things, these type of modifications and stuff like that, it has, uh, you know, plagued into our culture, especially in, um, in the, uh, you know, the black society and stuff, uh, especially with our women and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, right now, you know, we, we see that uh, our women and stuff, uh, you know, they, they try to, you know, um, modify themselves, you know what I'm saying? They, um, uh, instead of the word, you know, they natural kinky, you know, um, uh, her or whatever and stuff like that and stuff. Uh, they, um, you know, they'll they'll try to enhance themselves. And in reality, what they're doing, they're trying to look exactly like how the how the leaks were looking. You know, what I'm saying as well. You know, what I'm saying with the long straight hair and stuff. You know, what I'm saying you know with the long straight hair, with the eyelashes and you know and the like and stuff like that and stuff. You know, so. So, so within all that, you know, I challenge y'all to go in the wrong research about all that, everything that I'm talking about, the culture and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But once again, keep in mind that what I'm doing right now, this is just a rant, you know what I'm saying? This is not, you know, just a teaching, you know, and stuff like that. So, but, but anyway, um, so that's, that's where around, you, you know, all this song came from and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So my personal perspective, you know what I'm saying? My personal opinion about that is that, um, me personally, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, I'm, I really, 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 really pray uh, to, to all, you know, my all my, uh, my beautiful women, especially black women who's looking at this rent, you know what I'm saying, I pray to you that um, 
that you begin to embrace who you really are. You know what I'm saying? If if your hair is already naturally, you know, kinky or whatever, or is it curly, or some people call it naps or whatever, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But if that's your natural, if that's your natural God-given hair and stuff, then embrace that because God created you to be fearfully and wonderfully made. You know what I'm saying? He He created you to be like no, no other um person, you know what I'm saying? He could rate you be different. If he wanted you to have, you know, long hair, you know, like the European style or as we say in America, Caucasian or whatever, or you know, um uh, Hispanic or whatever, then he would have created you to be like that. You know what I'm saying? So my whole viewpoint is that um if you if you're trying to modify yourself to try to fit into the society, if you're trying to modify yourself to try to be accepted, if you're trying to modify yourself to want uh, to look uh, to look beautiful for someone, whether it's a man or a woman, you know what I'm saying, whatever floats your boat, that I totally, totally, absolutely disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that when you do stuff like that, you allow people to control your mind. You allow people to uh, have a certain, to have, have a certain um, viewpoint about you. You know what I'm saying? So, you're not following the status quo that this is how the way you should be and stuff and you start doing that because you you think that's how the way you should be and stuff don't say so you start changing your hair start changing your hair color and you know doing all these extreme styles and stuff like that and stuff you know what i'm saying so personally i totally disagree with that you know what i'm saying but however now listen to me however there are many cases where um things happen like you know what i'm saying like a woman you know uh you know she probably under stress or she probably dealing with a different situation it could be like a um um a medical situation that's happening and stuff like that where she begin to lose her hair, then she start to feel less beautiful her body herself, you know what I'm saying, then the only option for her to do is to, you know, add on the sew-ins or the tracks or the weaves and stuff like that, or even the wigs, if that case, you know what I'm saying, then that's different, you know what I'm saying, that, that's a different situation versus you just trying to fit into the status quo, or just trying to be like everybody else, trying to be the next, um, as they say, next celebrity or whatever, stuff like that and stuff, you know what I'm saying, being fake, you know what I'm saying. So if it's that situation, then yeah, then it's nothing wrong. Me personally, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with that at all and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So my one, my my one challenge to uh, every woman that's on uh, watching this on particular rant is that uh, you know, first of all, just ask yourself, why are you doing that? Why are you uh, always going to the um, going to the wigs and all, uh, add on um, uh, stitches and so in, spending almost nearly your paycheck doing that stuff, right? Spending almost like five, six hundred dollars, probably more than that. You know what I'm saying? Just to, just to enhance yourself for two weeks or probably just a month, depending on how long it lasts or depending on the condition of your hair. You know what I'm saying? So why go through all that and stuff, all that type of thing that you're trying to be accepted by men and stuff like that? Oh, and speaking of which, even with, with men and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about us men and stuff too, you know what I'm saying? How dare us put a woman in such a pedestal where she where, where we feel that she had to look like the next Beyonce or the next Rihanna or you know the next whatever that we see on TV and stuff. We being deceived ourselves, you know what I'm saying? And that's wrong, you know what I'm saying? Being us as kings, we should uplift our queens and show them that, you know what I'm saying, y'all beautiful the way how y'all are. You know what I'm saying? As as, I mean as long as y'all get over y'all ratchet attitude, but there's another rant for another time. But even then, you know what I'm saying, um we should show our queens that they are beautiful the way they are, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If they want to, you know what I'm saying, get their nails done and, you know, put makeup on and stuff like that, man, that's cool and stuff like that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to, you know, them changing their whole, modifying their whole self or, you know, they're changing their hair color, uh, they're changing their eyes and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Even changing their skin tone and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, man, we, we, we got to step up, man. We got to want uh, let these women know that they're beautiful the way that they are and stuff. They don't have to be that way, you know what I'm saying? Because we accept them for the way that they are, that they're beautiful, God fearfully and wonderfully made them, you know what I'm saying? A matter of fact, in the, in the um, written in the, in the biblical text and stuff, right, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when God made Eve for Adam and stuff like that, God didn't want to tell, tell, um, tell, um, I mean, uh, Adam didn't tell God, like, man, hey, you need to want to fix her because she don't look right and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You need to do this and do that. Matter of fact, 
Adam wasn't Adam was asleep the whole time when he was on creating the woman and stuff. And I want y'all to think about that. Why Adam was asleep the whole entire time when God was creating the woman versus him being up the whole entire time? He could have God could have had him up through the whole entire time, but he chose not to. Why? Why did he do that? You know what I'm saying? That's something for you to think about and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you got to uh, us men, us kings. Please embrace your woman. You know what I'm saying? If you have a woman, whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, whoever you cohabitated with, whether it's your sister, your daughter, whoever it is, embrace their beauty. You know what I'm saying? Let them know that they're beautiful. Let them know that they're wonderful. You know what I'm saying? That they look good. That they are so wonderful to you, beautiful to you. You know what I'm saying? Because this world could be a very harsh place. For everyone here, you know what I'm saying? So in order to uh, nullify that or to negate that and stuff, we could do our part as men and showing our women that they are beautiful the way they are. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to do all that extra stuff to impress us. You know what I'm saying? We we love every aspect from from for your face all the way down to your feet. You know what I'm saying? Through your body, through your mind, through your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Through your soul, through the very essence of you. Because in reality, us men, us king, we should all have the heart of the Most High God in us anyway. And, and the Most High God, He don't look at us um um for us the beauty and all this stuff. If that be the case, He be up here going around modifying all of us and stuff all day, every every day and stuff. But He doesn't do that and stuff. He made us into His image. You know what I'm saying? So in His image, you know what I'm saying? That's what makes it so beautiful and wonderful and complete. You know what I'm saying? And so, finally, as, as I get ready to unclose this on rent, I just um, want, want y'all to know also, like, and this is my personal opinion also, is that this is that. To me, it's a slap to, to on the most high God face when, when you look at yourself in the mirror one day and you just say, hey, I just want to do this and I want to do that to make myself look good. You know what I'm saying? Because I want people to accept me. Listen to what I'm saying, because you want people to accept you, not medical reasons or whatever you just want to be accepted into the culture and so so you want to look like the culture blend in into the culture how dare you do that you know what i'm saying that's a slap in god's face so i want y'all to think about this rent and stuff and also fellas just like i say i want y'all to think about this rent as well and stuff and who whoever you with your significant other your your woman stuff like that from this point on Show her how beautiful she is. You know what I'm saying? When she don't get her, her done, tell her, babe, you beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Keep your heart the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Let her know that she beautiful. She coming to the household, let her know how beautiful she is. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm out at the time. You know what I'm saying? I, um, I wish y'all, uh, like always, fight faith with faith. Um, and God be with y'all, like always. Peace.